Good morning. Welcome to Game Time with Mother Earth. I'm so excited that you're joining me. Um, this time I'm going to give everybody a minute or two to join us. So if you're just tuning in, let me know who's here and that you can hear me. So today we're going to be um, talking about trash and recycling and when you have a piece of trash, where it should go. Um, and what you can do with it. So go ahead and keep telling me who's joining me. Um, another thing that we can do while we're waiting for everybody to tune in is I'd love for you to post your homework that you did in the comments. So our first homework that we had um, from our first book was to do something kind and to show sharing to someone either outside of your home or within your home. So I'd love for you to type in the comments and tell me what it is that you did to show kindness and sharing. Um, the other piece of homework that we had was for you to do <laughs> for you to do um, observations outside, either in your backyard or your front yard or a local park. So if you went outside and made some observations, I would love to see a picture of your homework that you drew, or even if you just want to type in the comments and tell me um, what it is that you observed, okay? So we'll give everybody another minute to join us. Again, if you're just tuning in, tell me who you are, where you're from, um, and then I'd love to see your homework from Tuesday's book. So we'll get started here in just a moment. I have some people joining me. I'm really excited to hear who's with us today. Hopefully we have some new friends. Claudia and Caroline are here. Um, and they said what they did to be nice around the house was listened when mom asked them to do something. It's so important right now to be helpful to your parents. They're at home all the time and you can help them. <laughs> um, Caroline asked, where's Hank? Um, Hank, the, my dog, he's not here today. And I'm actually, um, I'm in my Mother Earth street clothes but so that I can be more comfortable for this game. But um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, Nikki, Asher, and Chloe are here. I'm so excited <laughs> for them to be joining us. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about what is recycling and what is trash. So when you're done using something and you need to dispose of it, there are lots of different things you can do. And the number one thing we definitely don't want to do is to throw it on the ground. Can anybody type in the comments and tell me what is it called when you throw trash on the ground? What is that called? Hmm. What's it called when you throw trash on the ground? And what do we call people who throw trash on the ground? Maybe many different names, but I'm thinking of one in particular. What's it called when we throw trash on the ground? Some of you may have seen the play and know that we have a naughty character who, who comes in and he throws litter on the ground. Asher got the right answer. So Asher said it's littering. That's what it's called when you throw trash on the ground. So we want to make sure that when we have trash, we're disposing of it properly and not throwing it on the ground. And that's right. Caroline and Claudia said that when you throw trash on the ground, what that's called is a litter bug. So litter bugs throw litter on the ground, and that means they're throwing trash on the ground. So today we're going to talk about two things that you can do when you have a piece of trash. The first one is to throw it in your trash can. Is to throw it in your trash can, okay? So can anybody tell me when you throw something in your trash can and you put it out on the corner and the garbage man comes to pick it up, where does the garbage man take it? Where does the garbage man take the trash after he picks it up? Hmm. Where does he take the trash? Anybody know the answer? Where does the garbage man take the trash? It's a big place with lots of trash in it. 
Hmm. Okay, the place where the garbage man takes the trash is called the landfill, and I actually wrote it out on our trash can. So when you throw trash in the trash can, it goes to your curb, and then the trash man takes it to the landfill, okay? And a landfill is a place where uh, lots of trash goes. Um, it is sort of like a hole in the ground, um, but there is a liner in it, and it, it's, it's a very scientific process of getting rid of trash. So that's where trash goes when you put it in the trash can. Now we're going to talk about recycling. What is recycling? Type in the comments as I'm talking and tell me what is recycling, okay? So recycling, when you put something in your recycle bin, it's picked up from your curb, much like your trash, okay? But they're two separate bins. You have a trash can and you have a recycling bin. And when your recycling gets picked up, it's taken to a place where it's separated into different types of materials. And today we're gonna to talk about those different types of materials and how they're recycled, okay? So when they're recycled, they're taken and they're either shredded or melted down and they're made into new materials. So they never go to the landfill, they're reused and we're able to keep that trash off of, out of our landfills and off of the ground, okay? So today we're gonna to talk about what goes in the trash and what goes in recycling. So first, we're gonna talk about trash. So I've got a few examples up here. Now, of course, the list of things that go in your trash are much, much bigger than this, but these are, are some common items that people might not know where they go, okay? So styrofoam, in the city of Oklahoma City, styrofoam has to go in the trash. Now, styrofoam also, never ever decomposes. That means when styrofoam is made, it's around forever. If I throw this on the ground, a million years it'll be there, okay? So we wanna make sure that our styrofoam ends up in the trash where it can be properly disposed and isn't disturbing our wildlife. Um, another thing that I like to suggest is if you have, if you have um, to use something disposable, Pick a different item besides styrofoam. You can pick plastic, you can pick paper, okay? So styrofoam goes in the trash. Okay, I wanna say hi to some new friends that are joining us. Hi, uh, Christina and Libby. Um, hi, Lisa, and hi again to my mom, my most loyal fan. Um, and then I really wanna give a big props to Claudia. She said recycling is making things into new stuff. That's exactly right. That's exactly what happens and we're going to talk more about that, okay? So our first item that we put in the trash was styrofoam. And again, like I suggested, um, if you have something disposable, try to use a different item other than styrofoam, okay? The next thing we're going to talk about, and this is a big one because it's really confusing, but I can make it really simple, okay? The next one that always has to go in the trash is flexible plastics, okay? So these are plastics that you can move and bend. They look like plastic bags that might come from Target or Walmart or your grocery store, okay? So these types of bags always go in the trash. Now, sometimes you can think of fun ways to reuse them before they go in the trash. Like you can line your trash cans, you can clean your cat's litter box, there are lots of different things you can do with these bags before they have to go in the trash, but they do have to go in the trash. Um, and also, there are some stores that will take these, tra these bags back, okay? So look at your local Walmart, your local Target, and see if they accept these plastic bags back, and then they will recycle them for you. But you cannot put them in your recycling bin at home, okay? These go in the trash, okay? Now we have more... <laughs> What are these called? Flexible plastics, more flexible plastics. Does anybody recognize what kind of plastic bag this is? It's a plastic bag that you put produce in. Um, so you might put your fruits and your vegetables in here from the grocery store, it's called a produce bag, okay? Um, so these are, these are also something that you can reuse when you get the chance, but once you're, once you're officially done with it, you need to put it in the trash. It does not go in the recycling bin, okay? Um, also, Ziploc bags, okay? So Ziploc bags, my 
might be something that you use to store your snacks in, to store your food. Um, and this is also something that eventually has to go in the trash. Now, something that we like to do <laughs> at our house is um, we like to clean these out and use them again. So we can reuse them at least once or twice before they have to go in the trash, okay? So we've got a couple of comments here. Chloe said that this is a banana bag. That's exactly right. So you might put your bananas in here from the grocery store before you take them home. Now something that I like to do is if it's a fruit or vegetable that I'm planning to wash anyways, then sometimes I don't take these bags. I'll just put the fruit right in my, the fruit or the vegetable right in my cart. For example, a sweet potato. I don't always put these in bags because I know I'm going to wash them before I use them, okay? Um, so I have a great question. Um, Momo asked, why can't plastic bags be recycled? And that is a wonderful question. The reason plastic bags cannot be recycled is because at the sorting facility where all of the recycling goes, there's a conveyor belt that takes all of the plastics and all of the things you put in your recycle bin. It takes it up and it sorts it through this wheel that spins like this. Can you do this with your hands? <laughs> so if you have a plastic bag like this and there's a wheel that's spinning, what do you think is going to happen? <gasps> it gets tangled in the wheel. And then the whole process has to stop and somebody has to get in there and cut it out. And it's very dangerous, okay? So the reason why plastic bags can't be recycled is because our current technology is not capable of handling plastic bags. But like I said, if you can figure out a way to reuse them or to take them back to the store, that's another way that they can get another life, okay? Um, and then more flexible plastics. So you see all kinds of flexible plastic packaging. It might be food packaging, something you order online, all kinds of things come in this flexible plastic packaging, okay? Again, has to go in the trash. Okay, the next big thing that we're going to talk about is wrappers, W-R-A-P-P-E-R-S. These types of wrappers. Um, okay, so I have some chip and snack wrappers here. Um, and these are pretty small, but they can be big wrappers, little wrappers, um, <clears throat> candy bar wrappers, any type of um, wrappers that wrap food that is just kind of flexible plastic wrapper. Those have to go in the trash, okay? So I have chip bags have to go in the trash. Um, cookie bags. This is even a uh, applesauce that's in a squeeze pouch has to go in the trash, okay? So again, if it's flexible plastic or if it's made out of a wrapper, it has to go in the trash, okay? And those things are, are more difficult to reuse. Some of the flexible plastics you can reuse, but the wrappers are more difficult, okay? And the, uh, the last one that I have on here is used tissues napkins, and paper towels, okay? Ick. Um, there are two reasons why these cannot be recycled. The first one is because the, the, um, they're contaminated. So if you've wiped your mouth with it or gotten food on it, that food contaminates the recycling process, okay? And then the other reason is that the fibers, the paper fibers, on these types of paper products are already stretched too thin to be recycled again, okay? So likely they have already been recycled and they're stretched too thin to be used again. So we've got to put dirty tissues. For the sake of this game, these are clean, I promise, but we're pretending that they're dirty. Dirty napkins, ick, and paper towels, okay? Those all have to go in the trash. Okay, now we only talked about four different things. We talked about styrofoam, flexible plastics, wrappers, and used paper, used tissues, napkins, and paper towels, okay? So those are the things that we talked about today, but there are so many other things that have to go in the trash, okay? So if you can tell me in the comments, what are some other things that you think have to go in the trash? 
or if you have a question about something that you're not sure about, you can put that in the comments too, okay? So, um, I got a comment from my friend Asher. He said, this is very interesting, and I'm really proud of you, Asher, for being interested in where trash and recycling goes. That's awesome, buddy. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is recycling, okay? And I'm really excited about this because there are a ton of things that you can put in the recycling that you might not even think about, okay? So the first one we're gonna talk about, and I hope you're in your kitchen because we're going to play a game with this recycling, okay? The first one we're going to talk about are a couple of different metals that can be recycled. So the first one is an aluminum can. Right here, I have sparkling water, so it might be soda, um, sparkling water, adult beverages are sometimes found in cans. Um, so right now, I want you to stand up and I want you to find something in your fridge or your pantry that is an aluminum can, okay? I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to find something that's an aluminum can. Now, in the meantime, if you have any questions or any other comments, please keep commenting. But I want you to find something that's an aluminum can. Now, when you found it, <clears throat> now when you found it, I either want you to type in the comments what kind of aluminum can you found, or if you're able to, take a picture and show me. I would love to see what kind of aluminum can you found. Okay, we're gonna have about 10 more seconds for you to find your aluminum can. I think we have comments coming in about what kind of aluminum cans we found. Ooh, Asher found Orange Crush. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Now, I hope you all have found your cans by now. So one thing I want to talk about with cans, when I'm done drinking it, what do you think I need to do with it before I throw it in my recycle bin? Can I just throw it right in there? What do you think? What do I need to do with it first? Now, if you turn to your partner and said, rinse it out, you are right. So what you need to do is rinse it out. And does rinsing take a lot of water or just a little bit of water? It just takes a little bit of water to rinse something out, okay? So once you've rinsed out your aluminum can, you can put it in the bin. Okay, um, Momo had a question for me. Okay, so Momo's question is, do you have to take the labels off of cans or anything else before recycling it? And the answer is no. The recycling facility has the capability, has the technology to remove those labels for you. So don't worry about removing labels from any cans or anything that you recycle, okay? Okay, the next one we're gonna talk about is another type of metal. These are metal cans made out of steel. Um, if you didn't know that, they're made out of steel. Um, so these, these you might find black beans, you might find corn, tomatoes, um, fruit even, lots of different types of food come in these metal cans, okay? So the next thing I want you to do <clears throat> is these live in your pantry, not your fridge, okay? So I want you to go to your, to your pantry and find a metal steel can, okay? And then I want you to tell me in the comments what kind of can you found. You can even show me a picture, okay? So be looking for your steel can. <clears throat> Pardon me, I had to take a drink break. Okay, did anybody find a steel can yet? I'm going to give you about 10 more seconds to find a steel can. So you might use a lot of these when you um, are cooking something like spaghetti or chili, okay? So you might dump a bunch of things in there 
and then you can recycle them. So Asher found SpaghettiOs. Good job, Asher. That's definitely in a steel can. Okay, so just like our aluminum cans, what do we need to do with our steel cans when we're before we put them in our recycling bin? Turn to your partner and tell them, what do you need to do with your steel cans before you put them in the recycling bin? Okay, again, just like your aluminum cans, you need to rinse them out with water. And again, rinsing doesn't take a lot of water, it's just a little bit until they're clean, okay? So I'm gonna put my steel cans in my recycling bin. Ooh, made a loud noise. Okay, the next type of material that we're gonna talk about is glass, okay? So right here I have some pickles, and then I have some okra, spoken truly like a Mother Earth from Oklahoma. Okay, so what I want you to do is to find something made of glass in your fridge or your pantry. It could be in either place, okay? Something made of glass. It might be something pickled, could be pasta sauce, lots of different things made out of glass. Okay, tell me in the comments what you find that's made out of glass. Now you want to be extra careful with glass because if it drops then it breaks, it can cut you. So you always want to let your parents handle the glass, okay? Okay, just like our metal, our aluminum, and our steel, we need to rinse out our glass before we recycle it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put my glass containers in my recycling bin. Very carefully. Ah, okay, Asher found salsa in a glass container. That's exactly right. Salsa does come in a glass container most of the time. Hi, Nicole. I'm so glad Nicole is joining us. Nicole, tell us what you find in your pantry that's recyclable, okay? Okay, so the next item that we're going to go over are paper products, okay? And there are tons of different kinds of paper products that can be recycled. So we're going to kind of go over all of them at once, and then we'll get to explore our pantries, okay? <clears throat> Hi, Celia and Liam and Olivia. I'm so glad you're joining us. We're going over paper products that can be recycled, okay? Um, and when you when this is done, you can go back and watch the video from the beginning so you can learn about the other stuff too, okay? Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is cartons. Um, so I have my almond milk comes in a carton, um, but there are lots of different kinds of drinks or soups that come in cartons. It's made out of paper. Um, and it lives in your fridge, okay? So again, just like our other products that we, talk, that we talked about, um, we need to rinse it out before we can put it in our recycling bin, okay? So a carton, okay? Um, and I had another question. Can you recycle the lids to glass containers? So usually, let me see if I can find one. Usually, glass containers come with metal lids, and the metal lids can be recycled, but you should remove them and put them in separately, okay? Um, if, it, if the lid were the same material, you could leave it on, okay? So, for example, a plastic bottle with a plastic lid, you can leave the lid on. A glass bottle with a metal lid, you can recycle the lid, but put them in separately, okay? Okay, um, so we went over a carton, which is a paper product, and again, something that typically has food in it, so we need to make sure that we rinse it out. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about are those thicker type papers, cardboard and paperboard, okay? So the first 
last one we have is cardboard, okay? Everyone's very familiar with cardboard. Can you type in the comments and tell me when might you have cardboard at your house? When do you usually have cardboard at your house? Tell your partner that you're with, okay? Okay, here are some other materials. So this is a special kind of material called paperboard. It's a little bit thinner than cardboard, but it looks like cardboard, okay? So we have a toilet paper roll, we have a paper towel roll, and then we have all of this different kind of paperboard. So a cereal box is paperboard. A container that your cans might come in is made out of paperboard. <clears throat> this held my pudding together. Okay, that's made out of paperboard. <clears throat> and this was what my pasta came in. Okay. Okay, so Asher said that you might have cardboard at Christmas. And he's exactly right. So the two answers that I was looking for were when you're moving or when you order something online, like at Christmas, when you're getting presents and they're, they come in a cardboard box, okay? So we, because we shop a lot online now, we have a lot of cardboard. And cardboard is very easy to recycle. Now is cardboard shaped like this when you get it in a as a box? No, it's shaped like a box, okay? So you need to have your mom or your dad or your adult that you live with cut it open and make it flat, okay? That's how they need it to be at the recycling facility so they can do what's called bailing it, okay? They, they stack it on top of each other and then they wrap it up and they ship it somewhere so it can be shredded up and reused, okay? So I want you to go in your house and find a cardboard box. I bet you have an Amazon box that hasn't been broken down yet or something from a present. Just find me a cardboard box in your house. Now it's the thicker stuff, okay? A cardboard box. Okay, did anybody find a cardboard box yet? Okay, so you might not have a cardboard box, and that's okay. The other thing that I want you to be looking for is paperboard. I can almost guarantee that you have some of this typically in your pantry, because usually these hold dry goods, like cereal, okay? So find some something made of paperboard, okay? Cereal, pasta, macaroni, um, your soda cans might have come in a paperboard box, okay? And again, what did I do to all of these? I made all of them flat so they can be stacked and bailed at the recycling facility. Okay, see how flat they are? So that was cardboard and paperboard. Um, and sometimes you can use these to do fun arts and crafts, okay? Okay, so the next paper product that I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna put my carton in my bin too, is just regular different types of paper, okay? So we have magazines. Magazines can be recycled, even though they're made out of that shiny type paper. Newspapers can be recycled, okay? Newspaper. Computer and school paper can be recycled. Paper recycling is one of the easiest things you can do, okay? It's so helpful to the earth. Different types of mail can be recycled. So we have a circular, we have some other different types of mailers that were sent to us. So you can recycle your mail. Just make sure that you're being safe about it because sometimes mail has personal information, okay? Um, and then you can also recycle paper bags, okay? So if you found your cardboard or your paperboard, 
I want you to be looking at, for something else in your house that's made out of paper, like a magazine, a newspaper, school or computer paper, or mail. Okay? So there are so many different types of paper products that can be recycled, and I hope that you'll start doing so, okay? Okay. So the last one that we have is flexible, or I'm sorry, the last one that we have is hard plastics. So over here, we talked about flexible plastics, like plastic bags, Ziploc bags, produce bags, and packaging, and how those types of flexible plastics have to go in the trash. And now we're gonna talk about hard plastics, and hard plastics can go in the recycling. So I want you to take a look at my hard plastics. They all look very different. This one is green, this one is clear, um, this one is big, this one is red and white, these are round, these are square. So all of these different types of hard plastics can be recycled. Most of them were used to hold food or drinks. Um, so again, before you put them in your recycling bin, you need to make sure they are clean. You either rinse them out or clean them out. And we especially want to make sure they're not greasy, okay, because grease can really mess up the recycling process. Because the way that these are recycled is that they're melted down. Um, and the grease will float up to the top and mess up the whole process. So we really want to make sure that they're clean, okay. So the last thing I want you to hunt for in your house are some hard plastics. They're everywhere, okay. Just look in your fridge, look in your pantry. I guarantee you can find a ton of hard plastics, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna start putting my hard plastics in the trash. So I have some tomatoes were in this. <clears throat> this had kiwis in it. Now I know a lot of us right now are ordering takeout food because we can't go in the restaurants. Um, and some restaurants will actually provide you with containers that can be recycled. So this happens to be one of them. Um, I'm very grateful to restaurants who do that. So this plastic container, I just rinsed it out and now I can put it in my recycle bin. Has anybody found any hard plastics yet? Show me in the comments, okay? So this one was a big gallon of um, vinegar for cleaning. This one had coffee in it. This one had one of my supplements in it. Again, it's not clear, but it is a hard plastic. It's white. This one had macaroni and cheese. This one had peanuts. This one was just a little container for raspberries. This one was juice. And then a very big one, of course, are pop and water bottles, okay? So one thing that I suggest is that you buy or find a reusable water bottle, okay? Something that you can fill up throughout the day and continue to drink on rather than using water bottles all the time because that is a really big burden on our earth, okay? But if you do happen to need to use a water bottle for something, just make sure that it ends up in the recycling bin, okay? So I wanna see what types of hard plastic you found in the in your pantry or your fridge okay <clears throat> now one thing I definitely want to mention is that every city has their own rules for recycling so while I know most of you who are joining us live in Oklahoma City some of you may live in other parts of the state or even different states so one piece of homework that you can do um, at home with your adult is to do some research on recycling in your city. So you can go to your city website and they'll definitely show you all of the rules about what can go in your recycling bin. Now, some of you might even live in towns that don't offer curbside recycling, which means they, they're not going to come pick up your recycling bin, okay? So what you can do in that case is find um, a recycling drop-off facility. So if you Google, if you Google, um, Google your city and recycling drop-off location, I can almost guarantee that you'll find one that is nearby, okay? So all you'll need to do is put your recyclables to the side 
And then once or twice a month, when you're out in that direction, just take your recyclables to a drop-off facility, okay? So again, one of your homeworks is to find out how recycling works where you're from. The rules that we went over today are how recycling works in OKC, okay? The other piece of homework, homework number two, is I want you to help your adult that you live with cook the meals this weekend, okay? I want you to help cook meals. And when you're done with that meal, I want you to help them sort which packaging can go in the recycling and which packaging goes in the trash, okay? So that is your homework. Help your adult cook all weekend and help them figure out which packaging, which materials go in the recycling and which ones go in the trash, okay? If you guys have any other questions, I will answer them in the comments. Um, I love you and we will see you on Tuesday. Bye.